favorite shows we have here at the Push Comedy Theater. We haven't done it since uh, before the pandemic, so we are really kind of pumped. Thank you for being here. If you were at the first show, uh, it's going to be a weird ride. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your hats. So this is a sketch comedy competition show. What is going to happen is that three teams are going to compete. They each get 15 minutes. They've been writing, they've been rehearsing, and then we have some judges, along with you, the audience, will pick the winners and the losers. Unless I disagree. It's my show. I own the building. I'll just overrule you. That's how this show works. We have a sister show called Improv Again, where, where three improv teams will compete, and the winner gets to hold aloft the hammer of Lowell the Hammer Stanley. Uh, and the host of that show will take their picture and post about it on Facebook, uh, and each team very detailed records of who has won and who has lost. I don't do any of that. <laughs> Mainly because I can't be bothered. I am co-owner of a comedy empire of a business. <laughs> um, however, the winner of this show does get bragging rights. They get to walk around town saying, hey, I won sketch again. <laughs> um, we've been doing this show for about five years, and that really hasn't gotten any of a blade. <laughs> but maybe tonight will be the night. Yeah! Speaking of things that you can't bother to keep track of, Sean. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I introduced Richard Dinkledick. And he's normally the host of Sketch Again. so what the hell happened and why didn't you tell me and I look like an idiot now? Uh, why did you introduce him? <laughs> well, that, he's typically the host of the show, if he's you... He's never been the host. <laughs> There's a, usually a couple assholes in the crowd that... <laughs> uh, that started with my co-owner, Bradley Murray. <laughs> Out Dingle Dick. Uh, and this has actually happened way before Sketch began was even a thing. Occasionally in bars he would scream Dingle Dick. Yeah. What was their name before? Was it uh, something Vanderdouche? Yes. Uh, he, is, he is trying to call me Fish Dick Vanderdouche. <laughs> Richard Dingle Dick. Uh, I don't answer to either one of these. Uh, uh, and then there, there's one uh, lovely person in the crowd tonight earlier, she said, well, do you have a persona for this show? And I'm like, no, no, I don't need it. Um, many people have tried to give me a persona, uh, but I'm not going to go with Dingle Dick or Fish Dick Bear. <laughs> so anyway, three people who do have personas. They are all former uh, Sketch Begin champions. Uh, they are your judges for the evening. Please welcome to the stage Casey Johnson, Austin Kennedy, and Steve Redd. He, he also can't be bothered to learn the names of the judges. No. Probably. Probably. All right. Uh, so these guys, they uh, they are kind of sketch comedy vets. 
veterans. Uh, you guys just had a show uh, back with the December. Yep. Foxy Our new group is Foxy Morons. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Casey and Austin host the Ultimate Roasting Championship, yeah. 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 which will be in this slot next month. That's right. Uh, March second, I think, will be. Or second or third, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, I can't be bothered to look at a calendar. <laughs> uh, and then Keys, you will have this slot in April with Platform. Tell us about Platform. So yeah, platform is the uh, you know a sketch comedy showcase uh, where people come up, they uh, get the groups together, they do a sketch, they go and have a seat and enjoy the rest of the show. Uh, right. So yeah, it's a good it's a, it's a platform for people who don't have opportunities or don't like have the, the, the means to put on an hour of show. You can just come up with seven minutes and you can play. Right. Or if you or if you're too much of a pussy to do a 15 minute set. You can do Keys a show and just do one sketch. You know what, Sean? I wouldn't insult the show that your tech guy helped produce when he's doing the tech for this show as well. So I would I would watch it. Just you know, I got I got my boy Keys is up there. But not only that, but the people that are in your show right now have also been in platform. No, I know. And I stand by my statement. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you know what's Good. great? to run back here with your little suit jacket on and do the tech for also the other people? Yeah. And so... I feel like there's a lot of sexual tension. Yeah, right? It really is. It really, really is. Alright, so these will be your judges. Uh, they will decide, along with you, the audience, who the winner of tonight's sketch again will be. Again, unless I disagree with you. Uh, so that's pretty much the rules of this show. Are you guys good? Alright, go ahead and take a seat. Backstage, and then by the time I got up here, I'd forget it, so I would just make shit up. But tonight, I actually wrote down their names because I'm growing as a person. <laughs> the first group tonight, please welcome Satanic Panic! Two words. 
Bears lawsuit. <laughs> Kumquats. Oh. 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 
beginning to think that isn't true. Hey, girl! <laughs> Two days till the hump day! And only five more days till Friday! <laughs> so, oh, can't wait till the 4th of July, because we're gonna have a three day. Uh, Anna, I actually think it's the water cooler. <laughs> You petulant mortals, why hast thou unearthed my coil to this plane? I cannot remain with, with the knowledge that you have obtained. I must depart from the decanter and begin my undertaking anew! And don't you follow me! Parents 
had donated money to an organization. Uh, no. We have talked about this. No donations unless it's a mutual agreement. Who was it?
That's your cue to set up. As we've cue. learned already. Yeah. Yeah. Learn yeah. from our example. <laughs> so please tell me, knowing that we are in Pat Robertson's backyard, <laughs> why did you decide to do your entire show based on Satan? We just, uh, we feel that Satan does not get enough attention. No. We talk a lot, we talk about sin, but we don't talk enough about, hmm, things don't get looked, really. I mean, it is a growing trend. You, you've heard about that club in Chesapeake. Yeah. <laughs> We're just hopping on the bandwagon, but if we follow a bunch of middle schoolers, they know it's cool. We're going to try to <laughs> Uh, and can I ask you about your parent costume? <laughs> did you buy that specifically for this show, or did you just yeah. have it lying around the house? Yeah, lying around the house. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there a story behind it? Uh, so, uh, actually, um, we always do uh, a lot of uh, dressing up and decorating at our house. We built a pirate ship in our front yard for Halloween this year, and so um, to honor my mom. We went through with it and dressed up as pirates, and Mike was a parrot. Yeah. 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 Um, did the second group, are they even backstage? Who's this? Are, are you guys ready? Are we ready? Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you get that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of the way. You, you made me talk um, to you. So. so, this is your one chance. To uh, entice the audience to voting for you later on. Is there anything you would like to say? <laughs>
too loud fighting crime or something. Oh, well, the IRS came after my fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knew? Who knew owning high-tech vehicles drained your bank account? <laughs> I guess you could say I went fat rut. <laughs>
minutes. It's part of my process. All right, all right. I'm going to be in the bathroom if you need me. Hello, my name is Elder Christ, and I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Hello, my name is Elder Grant. It's a book about America a long, long time ago. It has... Oh my, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Jesus Christ. Hello, my name is Elder Grant. Wait, wait. I, so, so, how did you guys? She played the Book of Mormon song, and now there are two Mormons in front of me. It's, it's part, part of her process. process. <laughs> I really can't deal with this right now. Completely no, understandable. <laughs>
servants of the night. We have someone special. I've pulled in a whole bunch of strings. I've called in a lot of favors. You might even say that he doesn't kill, but I think he will kill the stage tonight. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> crazy for Batman! Somebody 
remember it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
was was out getting wild and she didn't socially distance, she didn't wear a mask, so unfortunately she is out with COVID-19. Um, but no worries, because today we brought in a sub. <laughs>
Mrs. Peterson's several, several conditions. Uh, you know, we appreciate your patience in this ever-changing pandemic, in this environment that requires adaptability and perseverance. These are just the best class of students and second graders I've ever met. So thank you for bearing with us in these changing and difficult times. That said, Mrs. Peterson has contracted mesothelioma. So <laughs>
my check? That's easy check. I was in here. All right. All right, I used to look at the paper. You know, I do everything. Oh, you know, this is, uh, okay. Oh, all right. All right, here you go ahead. I'll just, uh, 10% off. Three, five. Automatic okay, well, gratuity, two or more party tax change. Changing tax. Uh, speaking of tax, I'm going to claim all of you guys as dependents after this experience. <laughs>